Hey everyone, quick video to show you how to increase the size of your board in Baba's Chess. I see a lot of questions on the help channel asking how to increase the size of the board. Now most people, especially if you've never used this program, um, most people's quick answer is to drag the corner of the window to be bigger. So let's try that and see what happens. If you drag the corner of this window, nothing really happens. It can make, get smaller, but it can't get bigger. What about this? There's no real corner here. Uh, right here, no. Right here, no. Yes, actually, you can make it a little bigger that way. But can you make it as big as possible? Well, I have already done something I did not mean to do. There we go. So let me get back to, that's where it was. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start closing things. The board window actually goes from here all the way down to here. This is the end of the board window. Now what you have inside of the board window is a whole lot of things that we don't normally need. This is called the board console right here. We close that right here. Show console, hide console. This is the move list. Some people like the move list, some people don't. I don't because it takes up space that I need for other things. If I want the moves, I can show you how to get that later uh, in a couple different ways. All right, I'm gonna close that. Didn't immediately increase the size of the board, but it did some things. What I recommend to people right away is just close everything except what you absolutely have to have. Here's the board. I don't need an info window, I don't need a channel window, and I don't need a chat window. I do, however, need the console window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it and then hover right here so that it docks to the right. Let me show you that again. Okay, I'm going to drag it and then this little thing pops up and if I hover right here, then I can dock it on the right. So now I can slide over here and it's docked to the side, it'll always stay over there, and the size of the board resizes based on the, the width of the console. All right, one more thing I can do to make my uh, board a little bit different and customizing, you can see the board is just about as big, you can actually get rid of this little toolbar down here as well. Um, I like to keep it just because it's handy. Uh, you can also get rid of the status bar down here, let's do that. View, status bar, gone, makes the board a little bit bigger again. Um, what I like to do is I like to put the names and clocks above and below the board, and that way I can make this a little bit wider. But the first, another thing I have to do is to get rid of the captured pieces. So I'm going to turn off captured pieces, which is right here. Turn that off. Just click that button. Um, and then I'm going to move the clocks and names above and below the board. I go to the game menu, clocks and name positions, top and bottom. Makes the board a little bit smaller, but look how much more room it gives me for the console. Now. Remember I said earlier that uh, some people like to use the move list during the game. I can always just bring it back and that's going to make the board window a little smaller. Or I can just type moves. And I've got the move list right here. And you can do that anytime and it's pretty quick. And maybe you might want to make an alias or something. You can just type alias m moves and then I can just hit moves. So it, it can be pretty quick that way as well. Uh, let's see. That's mostly everything I wanted to show you. There are um, some other options. You don't have to have these docked. You see how the board window and the console are docked and they're kind of locked in the middle like that. Um, I actually like mine to be uh, floating windows and I can make them take up as much room as I want and there's some other advantages to it also. But the main purpose of this video is just to show people uh, the way that the windows work and ways to get the board bigger. I want to show you also what you can do if you like some of the windows that I closed. If you like the info window, you can bring it back. And then if you hover it over where you want it to dock, like I want it to dock under the console or over the console, or I can put it on the right side of the screen or on the left side of that half of the screen. So you can hover it where you want to. You can bring the channel window back, drag the title bar and put it under the window. You can even have the chat window back for talking to individual people. And you're going to run out of vertical room at some point, but you don't need all of it. You, know, you don't have to see everything in the console all at once. You can have all four over there, and then you've got your board really huge. So you only need, only use what you need, and you'll be fine. All right? So uh, that concludes the video about how to set, set this up for a big board, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, if you want to ever want to change the pieces and the board colors and textures, if you hit F11 and go to Board, pieces and squares. There's all sorts of great options. You can pick your pieces down here. 
and you can pick your squares up here. You can make them bigger. You can move them around inside of there. Mess with the shadows. There's tons of things you can do. It's a lot of fun to set the board up the way you want it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.